made in Hollywood. One of the most iconic rock and roll performers of the last half century reflects on his life and legacy in the documentary David Crosby, Remember My Name. Hi, I'm director A.J. Eaton of David Crosby, Remember My Name, and you're about to see a scene from our movie. Enjoy. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. David Crosby. Do you ever wonder why you are still alive? I don't know. No idea, man. Let's say the documentary is about you. I want to know what you care about. I want to know what you're afraid of. I want to know who you love. I want to know what matters to you. That's the stuff I care about. I don't see that in documentaries commonly. If we were going to look at a person, skip who it is, any person, if you're going to look at the person, how are you going to do it? And we all agree at what level. That's where Crosby, Stills, and Nash was born, right under that light. It's like being naked in public, but it was a choice we made uh, on purpose. I think you can go at this, you know, any number of different ways, and I think most people do it differently. I'm 76 years old. I've had three heart attacks. I've got eight stents in my heart. I don't think people know how sick he really is. The last few years, I made four solo albums. I'm going for five. If I had ever been it before, I would fall. I had, you know, a notebook like this and a bunch of pictures, and I just was went crazy. I'm playing him early takes of, like, instrumental birds records. It's like, I'm just like, I'm like flying in that open door, I'm gonna give it everything. And, and he never said enough. He never said, don't ask me that. He, he just dealt with all of it. I'm David Crosby, and when we are together, uh, they call us the birds. As a journalist, you're in heaven. And so like the opportunity to do that was, was everything. I was not easy. Big ego, no brains. I don't think I was a good lover. I think I was selfish. If I, had ever been I have fallen in love with Christine. All of a sudden, she didn't come home. It was a Herculean task combining, you know, all of the elements and choosing what to include about this guy who's lived an epic life. And also, the music that he's made means so much to so many generations. He became a fugitive from the law. I got a ride to the local FBI agency. He said, you're looking for me. My name's David Crosby. I feel exhilarated watching it because we, we wanted to go to an honest place where the music kind of exploded and the, the heart and soul of it was uh, apparent. It's hard getting it there, and but it was a joyous experience in the editing room with AJ. This is the first interview that we ever did. My father says money, glory, fame, chicks, none of it counts. The only thing counts is whether you got any friends. What happened to your friends? All the guys that I made music with won't even talk to me. All of them. I'm just exhilarated when I see all the elements start to come together. And about 10 minutes in, as you're watching the movie, you start to realize, this we're going for deeper water. This is not <laughs> yeah. what I thought it would be. And that's the best feeling in a theater when you get that. This is really where I feel alive. Thanks for checking out this video. We want to know what would you have asked? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, for more videos like this, hit the MIH TV logo right here. And for the next awesome video, click right there.